morning, this is Colin Anziato from Luke Brown Yachts, and today we're going to take a quick look at Imagine, the 2006 symbol 68 that we're offering and showing here at the Miami Show. You notice when we first step aboard, she has a uh, beautiful dinghy arrangement on the transom with chocks and a, and a big lift. Thing's not aboard just to make it easier to show at the boat show, but uh, it's a great arrangement. Nice big swim platform, and now we walk on and into the cockpit. Immediately to the left, as you walk into the cockpit and down, are the brand new crew quarters. We won't go down there. It's a, it's a nice ladder down. Great, beautiful head, wet head, etc. We now have the entrance to the engine room, and. Also, the stairs to the flying bridge. Engine room, totally detailed in beautiful condition. And uh, the machinery has all been certified by CAT. Everything's in beautiful shape. And if we were to go up to the bridge this way, we'd go up to the flying bridge from the ladder. But instead, what we're going to do is walk into the salon. First, we'll just turn around and take a quick look at the cockpit. And you can see what a nice big cockpit it has. Normally there are a couple of chairs on this side of the table. They just didn't put them out for the boat show. Nice wraparound L set T. That table actually slides and moves very easily for access down to a large um, lazarette uh, crew area. And then we turn around and we come into the salon. And in doing so, we, uh, you can see that beautiful attention to detail in this boat. The woodwork and the symbols is really, really pretty. Well done. It's all hand joinery work. It's none of the plastic and uh, formica and slap together production style yacht. This is truly a hand built, handmade yacht. And uh, just inside the door is the day head. And you'll notice they put some granite slash marble down on the floor just inside so that when people are coming in they're not ruining the or damaging the carpet there. You have a nice day head here with Teak and Holly Soul. Entertainment center on the port side. It gives way to a nice little nook for the one of the barrel chairs. Television comes up right through this lift panel there. The rest of your equipment is behind these doors and over further. Nice attention to detail in this boat. Beautiful, comfortable salon. We've had as many as eight to ten people in here without people getting in everybody's way. Also here, sorry about that little out of focus routine. You can see from that perspective just how large the salon really is. And what we have here that I just pulled out is a, they're using it for storage right now, but it's a beautiful, huge slide out pantry. So there's no wasted space in this boat. This utilizes some of the area under the companionway stairs, which very nicely and gradually go up into the pilot house. Drawer storage here. And then we end up here in the beautiful raised pilot house with incredible visibility forward and a very large, commodious galley. Sub-zero refrigeration and freezing. We'll go up to the flying bridge after we come back out of the, the other quarters. But you can see she has a microwave convection oven, a regular conventional and convection oven, trash compactor, smooth cooktop, dishwasher, and beautiful granite, stainless steel sinks, growy fixtures. up-to-date electronics, not necessarily today, but certainly more than adequate to get on turnkey and go. Nice stitch chair, and as you can see, it's a little, they have the uh, curtains on just to cut the heat and the light a little bit, but very close to the bow. Incredible uh, visibility. The overhead control panels, an informational system. Articulating really heavy sea companion, not companionway, but side deck doors, 
on both port and starboard give you great access right around to the side walk around decks and now we're going to start down the companionway into the lower cabins this is where all the accommodations are other than crew directly ahead of me is the third stateroom which is a bunk room now this third stateroom does have its own head right around the corner here which you step up to with its own stall shower granite sinks Tecma heads very high the Tecma heads are excellent heads it's on television system um, behind the door and then back out to the companionway and up into the VIP stateroom lots of storage drawer space in these staterooms hanging lockers again nice television built in flat panel TV again the beautiful woodwork but broken up a little bit with some whiter uh, materials and wall coverings just so that it doesn't become overpowering. It's a cherry interior, a little lighter than teak. It works very well, especially below the decks. This is the VIP head. Again, your Tecma head. Very roomy, comfortable corner stall shower. And then going back down the companionway, we head into through the big double doors to the master stateroom. Now this master stateroom has a large walk-in hanging locker on the port side to our right as we walk in and out, but to the port side. With a, a way to get back out of this area if you needed to, right through there, going up into the aft deck area, and actually to the salat area. And then she has a nice vanity with mirror all kinds of drawers and locker space again as we said and then a really beautiful master head with another large stall shower plenty of headroom in there well over six feet about six four of headroom in there Looking back out into the stateroom, you can see the vanity with its own stool and library there, so it also can be a, a desk and library. You can see the flat panel TV. And behind these louvered doors are going to be the washer and dryer. I'm sorry, that one's locked. excellent storage space all of the electrical plumbing etc on these symbols is extremely well done better than most people realize symbols a bit of a sleeper they don't have as many boats out there there's a kind of a high quality limited production boat um, in the same category as the Marlowe's outer reef etc as we go up onto the flying bridge You can see this build, this flying bridge was designed and built for running and entertaining. As we head aft here, you can see the really nice entertainment area, bar, grill, sink, and a huge, huge aft deck, all set up for entertaining and guests. Very nice up here. The bar has seating all around, fixed seating. Now you're looking back underneath the flybridge. I just might mention this is available if you're seeing it on YouTube at www.independentyachts.com. We're a direct affiliate of Luke Brown. That's our website. You'll find video blogs, broker blogs videos of other boats, etc. We're now looking at the upper helm, again with all electronics duplicated, a pair of beautiful twin helm chairs, nice enclosure, 
three-sided because that it's, it's so large and it's got such a large hard top. And of course, when you come here and you end up at this helm, you're looking right out over the bow with great visibility. You can see directly in front of your boat for tight quarters here in a coastal cruising and docking. And then a beautiful, again, watertight bulkhead door going back down into the pilot house and back to the rest of the boats. Well, that's it. Imagine the 68 symbol, 2006. Very interested in selling. The owner is very serious. This is a boat and an opportunity. Somebody just needs to make an offer because he is really ready to sell. With the child now going to school in Italy, they bought a home there and have moved there most of the time. The boating days are over, at least for quite a while. So they are not going to be using this boat. Anybody with interest, just give me a call. Phil and Angiato, 941-718-0076. That's my cell. You'll get me all the time. For this information about this, any other boats, Marlowe's, or anything in this, anywhere from 45 to 85, 90 foot race pilot house, comfortable cruising market. I've done some work with the Outer Reef people. So give me a call. Imagine, 68 Civil, 2006. Thank you.